Hello, my beautiful energies, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you are looking for information about your favorite crystals, you have definitely come to the right place. If you learned something new or enjoyed the information, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Today's crystals are actually celestite. We're going to do two today. There's your celestite. And the second one is angelite, which looks like this. And mine actually does have something that appears to look like an A in it, but that's just how it was bought. So let's start first with Celestite. The reason why we're doing these stones together is because when I first started working with crystals, someone told me that they were the same thing. Now, although there are similarities, these crystals are very different. Celestite is also known as Celestine. The color can go from colorless to a light blue, pale gray here. And in rare cases, you may find some that come in white, pink, or a very pale green. Please be very, very careful with this stone. It is extremely delicate and also fades in the sun like amethyst. So there are certain stones that you are going to want to keep out of direct sunlight. This crystal gives off a pure vibration that is both masculine and feminine energy. So it gives a really good balance. It helps you to let go of your tension and stress. And it is also used to clarify messages from your spirit guides or your angels. It gives you mindfulness during your meditations. The stone also works very well with dream recall. The zodiac sign associated with celestite is Gemini. And Gemini is that sign that expresses ideas, who like to be social. Um, the planets are Venus, planet of beauty, and Neptune, which heightens your spiritual awareness, empowers imagination and dreams. And the element that works with celestite is air. So that controls your thought, intellect, and communication. So as you can tell from all of those, uh, this is definitely a stone that you use for communication, also to communicate with your guides um, and to st talk to the spirit world. This is associated, and so is angelite, with the throat, third eye, and crown chakras. Again, communication, self-expression, um, connecting to your divine source. So those are that's another similarity between the two. Um, for personal use, I use Celestite during my nightly meditation routine. I hold it in my hand along with my Angelite and ask my spirit guides for help and for guidance. If there is a question I have, I ask for signs for clarification. Now, when speaking with your guides, you do need to be sure that you are specific and what you are asking. Spirit guides can communicate easily through music, nature, and dreams. So asking for a sign on the radio works or using animals like the color of a bird um, to get some of your answers that you're looking for and asking for clarification through your dreams. It's important also to thank your guide personally. If you don't know who your guide is or you're curious about finding that out, all you have to do is ask. Um, when I started to get curious about mine, uh, I did a little bit of a meditation, a guided meditation, and then I also asked for signs. Now, I know this is a little bit off topic from the stones, but um, when I did ask for guidance on who my spirit guide was, I asked for a sign, and I really love nature, and I was out in nature. And as you all know, it's not very common to see an owl during the day, uh, let alone hunt during the day. And the very next day, I was on my patio, and I see a barred owl sitting in a tree in my backyard. And while I was watching it, it swooped down and caught a snake and flew back up in the tree and sat there eating the snake. And I thought, well, if there's any kind of sign, that's got to be it. So I started digging a little deeper into what that could mean and actually pointed me to um, Athena. So now when I do my meditations and I use my celestite, that is the person who I'm asking for guidance. Um, I also include anyone else who I'm not aware of that is helping me through the day and, and guiding me through life. So that is celestite. 
And now moving on to Angelite, you're gonna hear a lot of similarities. Again, they are not the same. Now, I'm gonna kind of hold both of these up. This one here is a raw stone, okay? It is not um, polished. You will hardly ever find Celestite that is polished. If it is, or someone is claiming it is, I would be very careful about buying that. It could be a different stone because this does not do very well polished. It is delicate, like I mentioned earlier, and will break apart. Um, this here is your Angelite, and it is polished. You can tell um, this is also a stone of communication, which is why I use them both together. The color is a pale blue, but unlike the Celestite, this is completely opaque. Um, it is not transparent or even translucent. You cannot see through this. Uh, this one is also one that you don't want to get wet. Um, it's not quite as delicate as the Celestite, but it will kind of decompose if you do get it wet. The zodiac sign associated with Angelite is Aquarius, and they are all about change, innovation, imagination. Also, um, Uranus is the planet associated with Angelite. Um, they're known for eccentric, innovative thoughts and change. And again, the element of, of air, which is the same as Celestite. So you have your thought, intellect, and communication. This stone helps voice your emotions in difficult situations. Again, the chakras are the same, the throat, the third eye, the crown. Uh, so you wanna keep these stones uh, close by when you have difficult things to discuss or you just wanna speak your truth. Uh, it also improves your spiritual awareness, releases anger. Uh, it's used for spirit guide communication and also heightens your perception of messages from your guides or your angels. Uh, I do like to set mine out during the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon is all about releasing beliefs that no longer serve your highest good. Uh, I also like to stick this out um, during a cancer moon to call on angels to protect your family and your home. As mentioned, I use this stone nightly along with celestite during my meditation routine. After speaking with my guide, I place the Celestite next to my bed and then the Angelite under my pillow. Why? Because Angelite is known to help with dream recall. If you are asking your spirit guides to help um, guide you with messages while you sleep, you definitely want to remember um, your dreams when you wake up. Always thank your guide. That's very important after you receive messages. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful or if you would like to share how you use both Celestite and Angelite. And always, always, always remember to smudge your crystals before and after you use them and before and after you wear them. Again, I like to use a smudge stick and light the ends and run it through the smoke. Thank you again for tuning in. I hope this video helped in some way. Keep your positive energy flowing and have a fantastic rest of your day.